guys, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a Saturday morning here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's go up to uh, our friends up in the US. And of course, we've been with the, the Campbell women's basketball team. And of course, uh, they're doing pretty well at the moment. They're currently 4-1. and one. They've won the last two already uh, at this stage of the season. And of course, we've got three very special guests joining us right now to tell us a bit about the season up to this point. Thanks, uh, all three, for joining us. Uh, thanks for having us. Um, the season has been uh, up and down, but so far in conference, we've gone four and one, as you said, and but we've had some pretty tough games, so um, it should be a pretty good season, to be honest. But I'll let them introduce themselves first. Um, my name is Erica. I'm originally from Toronto, which is in Canada. Um, I'm a grad student. This is my first year here at Campbell, and yeah. Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm a sophomore, so I came in to Campbell with Audrey, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so a little bit up north, and uh, I'm a pre-nursing major. Obviously, two very important wins um, during the week, um, especially against uh, UNC Asheville and uh, USC Upstate. Um, tell us a bit about those two important games after coming off a, a loss um, the week before. Yeah, our game against Gardner Webb was pretty tough. Um, we were all pretty tired after that game because it was a hard game. Um, so we just wanted to get the wins in after that disappointment. But um, our game against Asheville, uh, we scouted pretty well for that game. So we were prepared and we were ready to win. And then obviously we played Upstate two days ago. And we also prepared very well for that game. And we managed to get the win out, even though we didn't have the best game ever. So they were good games. How important was the upstate game to know that you, um, that you can win um, a close game after what happened uh, about a week ago against Gardner Webb? Um, well, upstate were 3-0 and in the conference. So they were the team to beat at the moment. Um, and it, we were just put emphasis on um, defence and um, performing under pressure. So we focused on execution during practice. And even though we didn't, we had our ups and downs throughout that game, we managed to get the win, which is important. You've got a pretty good home record at the moment. You're 7-1 and one at home this year. Um, how good is to play at home and especially uh, in front of your home crowd? Um, honestly, it's a great atmosphere. Usually we get like a decent amount of fans. So to kind of just hear our fans cheering for us. And I remember one game we played for education day and the kids were in the stadium and it was just a great atmosphere to be in. And the kids were loud, they were cheering and it's just so much fun being at home to be able to play in front of our friends and some, um, families come, um, and travel to the games, which is nice. So it's really a nice atmosphere to play in. Um, I was just going to say that like our student athletes and like other students really support us a lot. Uh, I know in our UCF game, we had like a whole student section. Um, the football team really showed out. They were super loud for us and they definitely helped us like make that such a close game. Like the atmosphere really helped and our band's really good. Like they're always like doing their little cheers and all that stuff. So they are really nice to have at our games. Play um twice every every week, one on Saturday, one on Wednesday. Um, I guess how do you you know prepare for back to back uh, games uh, during the week? So we usually spend two days preparing for a game before the game. Um, so after after we play, we the next day we come in, um, watch film in the last game, uh, know where we need to improve, and then that practice will focus on that and then we'll try to look ahead to the offensive execution for the next game and then the day after that we will focus purely on the game to come and then we'll practice that and then we go into the next game so it's a very busy schedule but um we, we are prepared for games so that's what's important uh tomorrow you're on the road uh, I think you're heading to South Carolina. Uh, how, how's the preparations been like um, these last two two days or so? It's been hectic because we just started class again, the uh, spring semester. So we've had our first few days of class um, and we've also been uh, adjusting to that schedule again from having Christmas break. Um, so yesterday we watched film on the last game. We 
uh, know where we need to uh, improve. And then we focused on the next game. And we have practiced this afternoon to do that as well. Now, how did uh, all three get involved in basketball and why did you choose it? Well, I always played little dribblers, like um, like the church league basketball. That's how I started playing. But like, so like my mom and my dad were my coaches. And I mean, we weren't the best whenever we were little, you know, people were shooting on like the wrong hoops and stuff. But that was just kind of how I got started. And then I played like through like school, like in elementary, middle school and high school. It's kind of like how I got into it. And then I played AAU whenever I was in high school. Um, I come from like a basketball family. Um, my dad coaches and my brothers play basketball. So I kind of just grew up around it. And I kind of just wanted to be the first girl in my family to play basketball. So I guess that's what kind of motivated me and pushed me to want to play basketball, to kind of be the girl athlete of the family. Um, I kind of got involved because in like primary school, um, my we started a little high school team and my mom was the coach. So my older sister got involved in that before um, me and I kind of joined in at practice and stuff. So then I started playing. So that's how I got involved. All three measure right at the start what position you all play on the court. If you had a dream position, would you love to convince the coaches to put you? Where would that be? Um, well, currently I'm playing the point guard. Um, that's kind of a new position for me this year. Last year I was playing like a 2-3. So uh, I don't mind playing the point guard, but I mean, if I was a couple inches taller, like as tall as my sisters, I wouldn't mind being a forward, but yeah. Um, I would, well, right now I play the shooting guard and if I was a couple inches taller too, I would love to play, be a post player. <laughs> Coming from the post player, I don't know if they want to be the post player, but <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if I quite want to be a point guard because handling the ball seems stressful. Like I know how like Audrey like has to, you know, know everything and like that seems pretty stressful for her, but I think being a shooting guard seems kind of fun. I would get to shoot, drive a little bit. If my handles were better, I would drive more. Courtney is a, a forward slash shooter. She likes to yeah. uh, shoot the three. I guess considering all that, how you, how have all three gone in trying to convince the coaches to put you in the positions that you want your, that you dream of doing, even even in practice? Um, I don't think I would be able I would be uh, allowed to post up ever. So where oh, that's not okay. going well. That's not going well. I did post up one time and I got fouled and I shot free throws, mm -hmm. but I didn't ask for permission. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I threw her the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it was me. Um, I mean, I just shoot the ball a lot. Like sometimes, like, even if we're not shooting good, I still just like, I don't really hold back. I just still shoot because eventually like they will go in. Like my percentage isn't like too bad. So I, I make them every now and then. What does the sport of basketball mean to all three in, especially uh, playing for Campbell? I mean, playing at Campbell has given me an opportunity that I wouldn't get at home. So I'm really grateful for basketball bringing me to a, another country and um, uh, giving me a free education that I wouldn't get if I was living at home. So I'm grateful for basketball and that's kind of what it means to me. So um, I'm also grateful for basketball. Um, I've been able to go to school for free for five years now. This is my fifth year. Um, and I guess just the opportunities and the new experiences that I probably wouldn't get. Um, basketball has brought me to so many different um, states. I met so many different people from all over the world, different states. Um, so I would say that that's like the best thing. And Campbell is a really great program. Um, you know, they're a winning program. So I think that it's just great to be here and just, you know, finish up the season strong and enjoy my time. Yeah, basketball has brought me a lot of people. Like they said, like, I never thought I would meet someone from Australia, let alone have them like be my roommate. Like I've lived with Audrey for like, this is like the second year. So that's just like something crazy. Like I never thought that like I would ever like get that experience and then getting a free education and getting like a lot of people don't get that. Like that's a struggle for some people for college. So that's really cool that we get to play the sport that we love and get a free education at the same time. So that's really cool. Fantastic segue to my next question I'm going to ask all three. So what have all three learned from each other on and off the court? Edgemite, the Australian, I don't know, spread. 
whatever it is. Everyone, everyone like hates on me for it and they don't understand. Sometimes I'm like, I want some Vegemite. Like if she's like eating it on like crackers with like butter and stuff, I'm like, oh, like I kind of want some Vegemite. But normally I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I get very mixed responses. They either, they either don't mind it or they hate it. Like it's, there's no in between. And the chocolate's really good from Australia. Yeah. She so. likes uh, Cadbury. So yeah. So the food, I like, the, I learn, learn about the food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I would say that um, although Audrey is from Australia and I'm from Canada, we have a lot of similarities yeah. as international mm-hmm. students compared to Americans. Yeah. But um, so that we could relate in some ways. And, and Audrey's hilarious. Like Audrey's actually funny. And then Courtney is very sarcastic. Yeah. yeah. That's what I've learned. I've learned to never take Courtney too seriously yes. because yeah. um, she likes to joke around, but sometimes you don't know if she's joking or just being mean. So it's yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. No. I've learned a lot from her, these two girls. So over the Christmas New Year break, obviously Audrey, obviously you wouldn't have had the chance to return home uh over the Christmas New Year, but did you get a chance to go to any of your teammates over Christmas? My family actually uh surprised me by coming to our tournament in Vegas. So they stayed over my little sister and my parents um stayed over the uh, New Year's and Christmas break and so we spent Christmas together with my older sister at Davidson so I got to spend uh, Christmas with my family which was nice for a change. Now I think particularly you Erica um, considering you this is your fifth year um, fifth and final year um, so what are your plans after college this year? Well, um, I'm getting my MBA so hopefully I can get a job after, but um, I was thinking about, I, I haven't decided yet if I wanted to stay in the U.S. or if I wanted to go back home to Toronto, so I'm kind of still thinking about that, but um, I definitely do want to get a job probably in the marketing field, so maybe even sports marketing, who knows, I don't know. Oh, okay. I have to ask Audrey this, have you tried to convince Erica to maybe come down to Australia and play? Look, I'm trying to convince all the girls on the team to uh, come play in the WNBL, but um, a lot of them don't like the sound of that uh, 12, 14, 15 hour flight. No. So, <laughs> no. But yeah, and all of them are scared of like the animals that we have. Like they think yes. everything's going to kill them. And I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. What's the plan for, for the rest of the year, uh, like this season? Is is it to win the conference and especially to get over, um, obviously, the team that you lost uh, last week? Absolutely, yes. So, I mean, we did win a championship last year, but we lost in the conference championship games. So we didn't get to go to the NCAA tournament. So we definitely want to get back to that point. We definitely think that we can. And we're hoping that because next time whenever we play Gardner-Webb, it'll be at home. So we're hoping for that home atmosphere that we can really, like, get the upper hand in that game and, like, hopefully win so yeah that's definitely the goal for us like we obviously want another ring because you know who doesn't like getting rings and everything they're really nice just with a couple of light-hearted questions uh, about the team uh, so firstly who had the most embarrassing moments on the basketball court uh, this season and what was it uh, I had one in the last game where I got a steal and I missed a wide open oh. layup with no one defending me um, I'm still if you can't tell I'm still trying to live it down but uh really affected me she's just too fast like she just needed yeah. to slow down a little bit her quickness got the best of her so so yeah that was embarrassing but what do you guys think I mean I fall a lot in practice I yeah. think a lot of us do CB cool. falls Sarah falls yeah we trip a lot in practice the line monsters get us way too often yeah like whenever we're stretching like at the most random times yeah is the comedian the best singer and into their tiktok slash be real so I think Erica here is a very good singer. She, she hands uh, down. She sung at our um, little opening thing for our men's and women's basketball team, and she sung at Education Day, and she's very good. Um, so check her out on TikTok if you want to hear it. Um, Sarah, who's one of our centers, she she's uh, TikTok famous, so um, she's probably the TikToker and comedian. Um. We're all pretty funny in our own way. So there's not really a set comedian. So I would say Audrey and CB. CB makes me laugh. Yeah. CB's pretty funny. Yeah, she's funny. Mm-hmm. And she's not trying to be funny. She just is naturally hilarious. Yeah. 
So, sorry, Erica, I need to ask you this, considering that just mentioned about the singing a moment ago. Uh, so how did you manage to pull, pull that off? Um, well, I've always liked singing. Like, I feel like that's like another release for me. Um, I love music, so I just sing from time to time. But then when my coaches found out that I could sing, they kind of just made me sing all the time. So yeah. that's that's how I got into the singing here. We don't find many basketball players that have a good voice. But, uh, <laughs> <they're taking advantage. laughs> so, okay, so do either of you have a pre-game superstition or ritual? Um, I would say our team kind of does like we kind of stay in the same spots like in warm-ups we stay in the same spots like we all do the same type of routine um nobody like if we switch spots we're like what are you doing like go back to your side yeah. like I would say that that's a superstition that we have I I always have to like make sure my hair is perfect before a game because if it's not I know I'm not going to play well so I have to you know slick it down hairspray make sure it doesn't move that's my pre-game superstition so, Audrey, I need to ask you these next two questions. Um, so, how's the Aussie accent going around your teammates? And uh, any any good ones? Um, I think they try. The, the most they uh, imitate my accent is by saying no. And it's, like, really <laughs> annoying. Because if I say it, then it's, like, an echo throughout the room. Everyone just tries to say it. Um, and no one's really tried to do a genuine Australian accent. But if they do, it's really bad. So, <laughs> yeah, no one can really get it. I, I haven't met anyone that can do a good Australian accent here. I have to ask then um, for for the other two there. Um, how's Audrey's American accent or Canadian accent going? Audrey, every now and then, the one time Audrey was mic'd up, she was having people say, hey, y'all, because that's like the one thing that like people ask Audrey to say in her American accent. Yeah. Which is funny because like I don't even say y'all because like I'm from up north. So like I think it's really funny that people think that like y'all is like the American thing to say. Pretty bad. Yeah, our American accent isn't very good. No. <laughs> it's a good try though. Yeah, it is. It's it's failed attempt. <laughs> so Audrey, you mentioned a moment ago uh about convincing your teammates to come down to Australia. Have you have you got any of them across the line? Um, I think some might visit for like uh, like summer break or something. I think Courtney might visit one year um, just to see, come home with me for summer. Um, but I don't know about the other teammates. Some of them are scared of planes so and like long flights they don't like. But I think after we graduate, we might have a nice um, summer holiday. So if I can convince them. But it's this flats are so expensive that it's like, is it really worth it? So, mm. so any pump up song to hype the team up before a game? Is there one specific song? I don't really know. We we have a pre game like playlist that we just play, which is like, um, what type of music's on there? Like rap and yeah, I see that. mostly the baby, but that's about it. And we'll finish with this last one. So when you had your media day at the start of the season, um, any, you know, funny or strange uh, photos that you did? Um, well, I tried to do a push-up on two basketballs and it kind of failed, but, like, I mean, the, the photo looks okay. So what about you guys? Well, I know we played those fun games, like, whenever yeah. we're in here. Oh, yeah. And I won both of them. I was against Audrey. Yeah. And I won both the games. We did, like, little uh, competitions in pairs to play at, like, halftime and during the uh, media timeouts. And Courtney cheated, so she won. That is not true. <laughs> I won she, fair and square. She cheated. She's a cheater. <laughs> Sorry, I have to ask. So, I'm assuming you two are very competitive, Courtney and Audrey. Oh, yeah. 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 We uh we like to butt heads a lot, but it's all out of love. <laughs> so We're very very competitive people. We like to win, but that makes a good basketball player. So. So okay, so what games do you like really get competitive in other than obviously the sport that you play? I would say quite literally everything. Everything we do. like it, it like literally everything. Everything's a competition. Uh, Courtney taught me how to play um. Like game cornhole? cornhole it's a it's like an american game you throw like bean bags into a 
for like a whole oh, and yes. she taught me how to now we're very competitive yeah yeah like every like little things like just like I don't know like walking to the car like we're yeah. like it's like weird stuff that like we're like always competitive yeah and I'm assuming uh Courtney you've won them all by the sounds of that or uh or, or do you think she's cheated in most of them she cheats in most things yeah so I don't think she's won them all but yeah, I I do cheat a lot, but sometimes it's like subtle and like people don't notice. But like Audrey's caught up to my my, yeah, my I, tactics. I know when she's cheating before she actually cheats. I have yeah. to I have to warn her. I'm like, Courtney, we're not cheating today. Yeah. <laughs> well, all three, thank you so much for getting up some of your time to join us. Uh, it's awesome having all three on the show. Best of luck tomorrow on the road down there in South Carolina um, against uh, Winthrop. And uh, let's hope uh, you can continue that two-game winning streak and for the last five and uh, in your conference. And uh, hopefully uh, by the time you get to go on the web again at home, uh, that uh, hopefully will be for that top spot in your conference. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Thank you. No worries. And, of course, if you want to uh, follow the team uh, throughout the, the rest of this conference season, of course, we'll put all the details up on this schedule, uh, which you can watch uh, online. There's more on the Smash Sports Show right after this. Don't go away. Here on the 10th Year Celebration.